will uh, give a comment on the lecture by Mr. Tapper, and after that we'll have time for questions and answers. Students of the Master of Global Management, so be prepared. We have a family tree, but big enough to solve the walls of the branches. He told the reporter and said, I thought I stayed better in the United States and find my own destiny rather to that to be another dead branch. And I think they couldn't do better by inviting Mr. Gautam Tapper. In fact, next 25 years. And the second commitment I made was that I need to put a structure in place that uh, if my children happen to be screw ups, right, and there's a genetically every possibility of that, <laughs> okay, that they cannot screw up the way this government works. All right? uh, I Dubai this afternoon, I will be in India 10 days from now. The people in Noida that we employ, they are just as much Barcos, Barconians, as the ones are in. We uh, give the room uh, very shocking, as the book, uh, but uh, shocking in a positive way because you almost have. He's coming to us to wake us up and to say, well, there are opportunities, but uh, then you have to wake up and uh, Europe is uh, falling asleep. So one of the key ingredients in your success story, which I appreciate, of course, is, is the role that capitalism is playing over there. Your capitalism has become too benign. It just doesn't have that energy that it needs anymore to go out and get things done because large European companies are too protected in their home market. They don't need to do anything. The government gives them enough leeway to grow. Uh, they really don't need to compete. Uh, and then you get dynamic capitalism like you get in Israel or in India where everybody wants to make a buck and they don't want to wait for the next pie. If, uh, Most of our investment money in the places where the growth was not. We invested in North America. Most companies in, in those decades, in the 90s, invested in North America. European companies, startups, the next thing they do is an office in New York or India is the cheap production cost and what will you do if the labor force starts emancipating and that people will start, start like um, demanding more money for, the, for their work and like saying I don't want to work. Advice would you give to politicians to get out of this uh, mess? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Papa has stressed a big importance on entrepreneurship in general and how it's, it's gonna make Europe grow. So how do you feel that Belgium, how do you suppose that Belgium can promote entrepreneurship among its young